Where will you be flying today? New York. May I see your ticket, passport, and visa, please? Here you go. My visa's on page six of my passport. Would you like a window or an aisle seat? Aisle, please. Do you prefer smoking or non smoking? Non smoking. I have 13E available. How many pieces of luggage do you have? Two. Here's your boarding pass. The plane will board half an hour prior to departure. You'll be leaving from gate three on your left. Thank you. Hi, I'd like to rent a car for a week. What kind would you like? A compact. May I see your driver's license? Will my international license do? Sure. Just fill out this form. Write your address here and sign your name on the bottom of the page. Unlimited mileage and the mandatory collision insurance are included. Do I have to return the car to this location? No, you can drop it off at any of our local branches. The keys are in the car? Yes. Our complimentary bus to the parking lot is through the door to your right. Great. Do you sell maps? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Just my luck. Maybe I can help you. Well, can you tell me how to get to Stamford? Sure. Follow the highway south for about 10 miles and get off at exit 30. At the end of the ramp, make a left onto Park Street. Left at the end of the ramp? Yes. Then at the traffic light, turn right onto Maple Lane. At the next intersection, turn left and you'll be in the center of Stamford. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. You can't park here. You'll get a ticket. I've had it. Parking in this city is no picnic. Let's look for a parking lot. There's one right over there, and it's only $2 an hour. Hi. Here's your ticket. Back up in that space next to the blue Honda. Just leave the keys in the car, but remember that we're not responsible for any valuables left in your car. In that case, I'll take my bag with me. By the way, could you tell us how to get to the town hall? No problem. Walk two blocks east on Barrow Street, then make a right. You'll see a gas station on your left. Pass the gas station and make another left down Thompson Street. The town hall will be right in front of you. So, I take a left after the gas station onto what street? Thompson Street. Thompson. Thanks. Anytime. Come on in. Let me show you around. Here's the living room. Great. The view from this window is wonderful. This is the kitchen. It looks new. Yes, we renovated just last year and replaced all the appliances. Just look at all the closet space in the master bedroom. Well, I'm sure you can fill these closets in no time. Oh, come on. Give me a break. I don't have that much stuff. And here's the bathroom. What did you say the rent was? $1,300 a month. Does that include utilities? It includes heat. Gas and hot water. Electricity and telephone are extra. When will the apartment be available? On the first of the month. We like it a lot, but we'll have to think about it. Can we call you tomorrow? Sure. Hello, Mr. Berger. This is Steve Heller. I'm calling about the apartment we looked at yesterday. We'd like to take it if it's still available. Great. So, what's the next step? I'll drop a lease and send it to you. What I'll need from you is one month's rent as a security deposit and the first month's rent in advance. I'll get the deposit back, won't I? Of course, as long as the place is not damaged beyond the usual wear and tear when you move out. Great. Can I send you a check? Sure, a check will be fine. Just send it along with the lease after you've signed it. Thanks. Mr. Watson, this is Mario, your tenant in 6B. Hi, what's up? There are a few problems with the apartment. First, the faucet in the bathtub drips constantly. I'll ask my plumber to come by and fix it tomorrow. Also, one of the burners on the stove doesn't work. What's the matter with it? I can't control the temperature. I think you'll have to get an electrician. I'll see what I can do. Is that everything? Well, there's one more thing. I can't get a dial tone on the phone. It's dead. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. You'll have to call the phone company. You said you'd do the dishes, didn't you? Only if you clear the table. Come on, I made dinner, didn't I? Yes, and it was delicious. All right, I'll do the dishes. Thanks. And while we're talking about chores, the light in the basement burned out. 
I'll replace the bulb in a minute. No, no, I already tried that. It still doesn't work. Maybe there's a short. Did you try the fuse box? Yes, and that didn't help either. Then we should call an electrician, shouldn't we? Do you have his number? It's on the bulletin board. You'll call him tomorrow, won't you? Sure, if I remember. I was thinking of cooking dinner tonight. Any ideas? What about roast chicken? Or beef stew? I could go for roast chicken. All right. Do we need to get anything? I'm making a shopping list right now. What kind of vegetables would you like? How about cabbage and potatoes? Sounds good. In that case, let's get a whole chicken, some cabbage, and a bag of potatoes. And what about dessert? Why don't we have hot fudge sundaes? Mmm, sounds delicious. I don't have much cash left. I'll have to stop by the bank before I go to the supermarket. It might take me a while. Take your time. Next. I'd like a ham sandwich, please. What kind of bread? Whole wheat. Mustard or mayonnaise? A little mayonnaise, please. Lettuce and tomato? Yes, please. And how about some cheese? I'll take some Swiss, please. That's ham on whole wheat with Swiss, lettuce and tomato, and a little mayonnaise? That's right. Please have a seat, Mr. Saunders. I received your resume a few weeks ago, and I must say I'm very impressed. Thank you. We're a small financial company, trading mostly stocks and bonds. May I ask why you're interested in working for us? Your company has an impressive reputation, and I've always wanted to work for a smaller company. That's good to hear. Would you mind telling me a little bit about your present job? I'm a head broker in a large international company. I deal with clients on a daily basis, handling all aspects of their accounts personally. Why do you think you're the right candidate for this position? I have a lot of experience in the stock market, and I enjoy working with people. As a matter of fact, in my current job, I am in charge of a team of eight brokers. Well, you might be just the person we've been looking for. Do you have any questions? Yes. If I were hired, how many accounts would I be handling? You'd be working with two other head brokers. In other words, you'd be handling about a third of our clients. And whom would I report to? Directly to me. I see. What kind of benefit package do you offer? Two weeks of paid vacation in your first year of employment. I believe you're also eligible for medical and dental insurance. But this is something you should discuss with our personnel department. Do you have any other questions? No, not at the moment. Well, I'll have to discuss your application with my colleagues, and we'll get back to you early next week. Okay, thanks. It was very nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you, too, and thanks for coming in today. Hi, I'm Susan Richter, and you must be Bob. Yes, Bob Fuller. Nice to meet you. Let me introduce you to some people. Annette, I'd like you to meet our new colleague. Oh, hello. I'm Annette Silva. Good to meet you. Hi, I'm Bob Fuller. Where will you be working? In the International Sales Division. Oh, right next door. We'll be seeing a lot of each other then. Let's have lunch sometime. Yes, I'd love to. Let me introduce you to Phil now. He's the manager of our division. Hey, you must be Bob. We've been expecting you. I'm Phil Mendez. Nice to meet you. Welcome aboard. So, how was your commute this morning? Not bad at all. It took me only 20 minutes to get here. By the way, I was wondering about my hours. I arrived here at 9 today. Would it be better if I got here earlier on some days? Yes. Would you mind getting here around 8.30? Not at all. And when do you usually leave? 5 o'clock? Well, we usually leave when the work's done. Sometimes that's 6 or even later. Let's play it by ear. No problem. And one more thing. Could you tell me how the telephone works? Sure. Dial 9 for an outside line and then the number you are calling. If you want to contact anyone in the office, just dial their extension. Okay, thanks.